Hey guys, so here to review Provocation or Provocation's new album, Forging the Gods. I don't know how the band's name is pronounced. I'm sorry if the fans get butt hurt, but the music is what matters, not the band's name. Alright, so right off the bat, these guys are a four-piece slam death metal band, and this is their second full-length album. Now, to be honest, this is my first 2012 pickup of release that is slam death metal. I've picked up a lot of brutal death metal so far. I've been kind of iffy on what I've picked up, but this slam death metal album has really blown me away. A lot of the stuff that I listened to in 2011, I really thought that was like slam death metal's year was last year. But I'm starting to really rethink that. A lot of demands I've been finding on Facebook and Bandcamp and all the other sites that you can you know, just listen to their music. A lot of good bands have actually been coming up and sprouting out this year, and a lot of them are going to be releasing albums. So, you know, I'm looking forward to this. But anyways, to the review, let's get on with it. Vocals. Vocals on this album, the best way to explain them is a low scream mixed with a pig squeal, mixed with a guttural. And to be honest, this vocal, it's not that unique. It's not nothing that no one has ever done before. It's something a lot of vocalists can do. It really doesn't take that much talent, to be honest. But, but it does take talent to make this vocal catchy, and I have to say that this guy, as a vocalist, is very catchy with his vocals. There is a lot of hooks to this. It kind of reminds me of Amputated, and the way they have a lot of hooks for old Mark's vocals, which he's the vocalist and he left, if you guys don't know that, but just heads up. But basically, there's a lot of hooks on this, a lot of catchy parts for the vocals. There are some parts where the vocals get a little bit repetitive, but not to the point where you have to stop listening to the album and just be done with it. You know, vocals are good, they're repetitive to an extent, but they're really catchy, so I can find myself really replaying them. So it's pretty good. Instrumentals. Instrumentals as a whole, basically slam death metal. You have the slams that are super slow, and then a lot of the slams that are diminished chug pace, something that's, you know, very you know, kind of heavy, but not to the point where it's a slam. You know, it's mid-paced, basically it's a mid-paced slam. It's very heavy, something you can bob your head to, something you can listen to while you're working out or driving down the road. Really catchy with the instrumentals here, ranging from pretty much everything. But there are a few nitpicks I do have to pick out with the instrumentals because they did bother me a little bit. Guitar work. Guitar work on this album, I actually don't have any complaints for the guitar work. I thought the guitar work was, you know, original to some extent, and then some extent they weren't that original. But slam death metal as a genre, you can only do so much to make something original, and they actually did a pretty good job. The guitar riff is brutal in some parts, you know, really slow, really heavy, something you just want to headbang to slowly, or you want to just fucking go brutal and balls to the walls. And to some parts, it's mid as chug pace, and it's something really catchy. You find yourself listening to the same riff and, like, replaying it. Technical in some points, a lot of guitar songs, you know, not, not too much of technical playing here, but really just stays to the point of slam death metal and pure brutality, which is something I appreciate. You know, I like it when it's all technical and awesome and fucking balls off the walls, but, you know, I do like to hear just something pure brutality after a while. All right. Now, bass. Bass was hard to hear on this album. Um, there are some parts where you can hear the bass and it goes doom, 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 doom. But to hear the bass, really, you have to listen to it. Bass is okay. Um, to be honest, it's not nothing that is special. It's not anything that's bad. It's not anything that's good. But it's kind of in between. I mean, I liked it, but I'm not going to sit here and tell you guys, you know, this is the best bass player in the world. He does have some of the best bass playing I've heard in Slam Death Metal in a while, though. So, you know, in between on it, I like it, and I don't, you know, it is what it is. Sometimes he stays with the guitars, and other times he doesn't. So, yeah, but bass is very muffled. And one complaint I do have, and this is a complaint for the album, and it's drumming. It's not the drummer himself. I think the drummer himself is very talented. He stays up with the band when they do middish chugs. He stays up with the band. He has a lot of rhythm, and he goes to technical fast parts, and then he gets to slow parts. He, really good drumming. The only problem I have with is the quality and the sound of the drumming. The quality sounds fine, but I wish the drumming was just lifted up a bit more to where you could hear it a lot better. I mean, you can hear the drumming, but I would like to hear it a little bit louder. I am a drums person and a vocals person. I like my drums to be out there and the vocals and everything, you know. But this album, it sounds like the drums are hidden pretty much under all the guitar riffs and the bass and the vocals. It really sounds like the drums are really hidden. In some parts, the drums do stand out, though. 
you know, they sound very unique and brutal. But, you know, in a lot of parts of the album, it's really muffled and I just wish I could hear it a little bit more. But drumming is good. It's not the fastest drummer in the world. It's not the slowest drummer in the world. He's in between. He's good to the point where he has rhythm and good to the point where he has technical abilities where he can blast really fast. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the review. You guys should check this band out. Put a link below to their Facebook. And I also have a Facebook. I made one quite recently. You guys can look below for that as well. And yeah, I'm getting back into the reviews. I'd like to apologize to everybody, all my subscribers. Basically what happened was a few weeks ago, I was going over to my ex's house and I went into a ditch and I had to spend $800 to fix my car. You know, super snowy out, all the roads and I went into a ditch. It's as simple as that. I'm young, I'm stupid, I made a mistake. I think we all make mistakes, but mine was $800, which took a huge chunk out of my ass, if you all catch what I'm saying. So, you know, I really haven't had that much money to buy albums lately, and I really haven't had that much time to do vocal covers lately because of the fact that I'm trying to work that. Um, you know, kinda is a pain to work for $800, but, you know, I'm getting back into reviews. I got everything all situated. My financial situation is all back to normal. I don't have a girlfriend anymore, so I'm not spending money on her. So pretty much everything right now is going towards music and everything. But yeah, just wanted to apologize, guys. New subscribers, I welcome you guys. And if you guys subscribe for vocal covers, I do do vocal covers still, but it's going to be somewhat rare to an extent because I haven't really found anything that I like to do a vocal cover of. I'm not into deathcore that much. A lot of you guys who have been subscribing to me lately say to do a deathcore cover of a band. And the honest truth is, I don't like doing highs. I just don't. And I just don't like deathcore that much. There are a few deathcore bands that I like. A few of them. They come as few as many, but I like a few. And it's really to the point where I like them listening to them to the point where I don't want to do a cover because, you know. When I do a cover and album review, I'm purposely promoting the band. You know, I'm pushing the band out there to give them that push so people know that they exist. So yeah, thank you all for watching. Welcome new subscribers, and I apologize for my recent absence. I shall be reviewing a lot more because I just got a CD package. And yeah, also link below. I'm looking for some grindcore bands. Not I am looking to be a in a band thing, but I'm not looking for that. I'm looking for some good grindcore bands. Something that's just good and something I can listen to. Something along the lines of old Napalm Death. Um, you know, just something with shouting vocals and blazing guitar rips in some parts and then where it slows down. Just pretty much looking for something good. Old Napalm Death, their Scum album would be a really great comparison. Something I'm looking for. Um, James doesn't exist. They just came out recently on the Grind Corey Karaoke. Um, Cloud Rat, I guess, would be a good female front if you're looking to do that. But yeah, can you guys, if you know any bands, of course, if you know any, then link below. Alright, enjoy the video, guys. Hope you have a great day and keep it fucking brutal.